Hello, welcome to this episode of Rich Insights. I'm Don Rich, Head of Investments for Esoterica Capital Markets. Today's topic is on demand destruction. Now, particularly, we're going to look at the energy industry today. Now, over the last few days, we had, you know, what was described as a uh, historic cut in production. It amounted to be about 14 million barrels of oil a day uh, were going to be reduced. And that worked out to be about 9 to 10 million barrels uh, from OPEC and the remaining from uh, the U.S. oil suppliers, the remaining cuts coming from the U.S. All right, now we remarked at the time, again, going back three or four days ago when it was announced, that it just seemed that that, those actions were too little, too late. All right, and we're going to show you evidence of that today. The demand destruction versus the supply cuts just are just so imbalanced. It, it, it's really hard to get your, your mind around. So let's head to the charts. All right, we're going to start here with gasoline. Gasoline demand. We just received the, the uh, uh, weekly piece of information here. This is from the Department of Energy. And you can see we just have fallen off a cliff. So yes, it's a good idea that, uh, that the supply of oil has been cut. But relative to the demand destruction, apples and oranges all right so gasoline demand is collapsing supply the supply of oil registered the largest uh, inventory levels right the stockpiles here are the inventory levels we're sitting at the highest inventory levels on history in history right now all right not a good combination all right let's, let's go from gasoline to oil here the inventory of oil well, it's not at its all-time high, all right? The black line shows you where we're at today. It's not at its all-time high, but it's awful close to it. We're still sitting on a huge amount of inventory in the oil industry. Now, the, huge, uh, the uh, 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 oil rig count is next, all right? Again, this is just the U.S. oil rigs. You can see those oil rigs are being shut down quickly, right? But it does take time to shut the oil rigs down. And you can see where we're at today versus where we were at during the energy recession of late uh, 2015 and early 2016. All right, so we're, we're not even there yet. We're not even down that low yet. We would expect uh, more and more oil rigs to uh, continue to uh, fall. And finally, we have oil consumption here. Uh, we were averaging about 21 million barrels a day being consumed. But due to the shelter in place activities, you can see where we're at today here, 16 and a half million barrels uh, on, on, on the last uh, count. So again, oil prices, <laughs> excuse me, were at 20, uh, $22, $23 when the OPEC and U.S. Uh, uh, production cuts were announced. We didn't think uh, uh, they were big enough and they were, were, were fast enough. Oil today is trading below $20 a, a barrel. And by the indicators that I look at, the ones I just showed with you, it looks like more pains ahead, right? This is a really, really tough time uh, for the U.S. oil industry. The, the, the price wars that coincided with the demand destruction of the uh, covariant, uh, coronavirus are just tremendous, right? Just tremendous, right? Uh, 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 more pain yet to come uh, due to that combination. All right, so that's our message for today. I'm Don Rich. You just experienced a rich insight. I hope you've enjoyed this. May your beer be colder than the company you keep. We'll talk again soon. Thank you.